Good morning, everybody. Today is September 12th, and this is our Monday morning report. Um, I will start out with a few things and then pass it over to the town administrator, Jim Boudreaux. Um, first thing I want to mention is next Monday evening, we have the special town meeting at uh, seven o'clock at the gym at the high school. I uh, ask you all to attend if you can. We've got some uh, big topics on there. We've got uh, placement of the water treatment plant is one of the bigger ones. We've got a bunch of CPC articles and a few capital expense um, plans as well that we would like to go over with you and uh, please show up. Shouldn't take too long. Um, following that, um, this tomorrow at three o'clock, we have the moderators meeting where he's going to go over all the articles and give his opinion on, on the latitude and the, the, just review the warrant with everybody. So at three o'clock at town hall, you can attend that. And uh, lastly, I just want to um, thank Chief Murphy and the rest of the fire department for their 9-11 um, ceremony and remembrance yesterday. Um, it was great and it's an annual thing that they do and, and uh, thank them for their um, attention to that. So thank you, Murph. With that being said, I'll pass it over to Jim. So good morning, uh, happy September 12th. Uh, as we discussed last week, uh, we're no longer gonna be providing COVID updates. If people are looking for information and COVID updates, they can simply go to mass.gov Click on, click on the COVID-19 link, and that will take you to links to any data or any numbers that you happen to be looking for. Uh, we do have something new to report, though. As we said last week, West Nile virus has been detected in situate. Uh, the DPH, Department of Public Health, puts out a trap. They trap 100, 200 mosquitoes. They grind them all up together, and then they test that, and there was a positive hit for West Nile. Well, West Nile is not new. It's been around for years. But we do ask you to take precautions if you're going to be out between dawn and dusk. Uh, wear long clothing or make sure you wear mosquito repellent, make sure your screens and things are fixed in your house. Uh, but we will let you know if we get any more reports of positive West Nile in the town of Situate. For the water update, uh, these numbers are before the rain we got yesterday and today. The reservoirs at minus 46, last week we were at minus 45. Tack Factory Pond remained at minus 14.5. Average daily demand for the last week was 1 million 2.12, so 1 million 200, 1.212 million gallons per day. Sorry, that's now from last week's 1.268. So those numbers will continue to trend down a little bit as we get into the colder weather. Uh, the Commonwealth has updated our drought from critical to significant. Uh, however, the rain we have had has not been enough to recharge our aquifer and our wells. So our wells are still running at a lower capacity than normal, which does mean we use our treatment plant uh, and that does cause manganese to go through the system. Uh, the good news is the water at the, the manganese at the water treatment plant levels are going down with the colder nights. Uh, the in-house testing that we did over the last week showed no numbers over 0.2 milligrams per liter. The reportable number is three milligrams per liter. For the vast majority, they were actually much, much lower than that with a couple of no detects. So those manganese levels are dropping, which means our brown water in the system should be getting much better uh, we ask if you do have brown water, let the water department know. These are data points. We can see if maybe it's something particularly your neighborhood uh, or if it's a continuing problem with the water treatment plant. We are working with our consultants and DEP to come up with a fix uh, in the short term. Long term fix, as we've said, is the construction of a new water treatment plant that will treat for iron and manganese in the system. Uh, our rainfall the last seven days was 0.9 inches. Again, doesn't include today and tomorrow. And Selco will be in North Situate on Gannett and Country Roadway. Uh, hopefully, they'll be finishing up that project uh, midweek this week. Uh, utility Road, the contract will be back in the Utility Road neighborhood, Utility in Cedarwood. Uh, with the castings, they'll be raising the castings in preparation for final paving. What you see up there right now is just a base coat. Uh, the contractor is down on Tilden and Brook today. Uh, they're waiting for it to dry a little bit, then they'll stop paving. That'll take a couple of days to get Brook and Tilden done. The contractor has also been working on portions of Country Way. When we are done on Country Way, uh, he is scheduled to go down to Glades and Bailey's Causeway to do those areas where we did water work over this past summer and make some paving uh, repairs down there. The paving, as always, is dependent on the weather. So with rain expected tomorrow, we might not see those pavers uh, at all tomorrow. They'll be back towards the end of the week. The minor beach progress, uh, stair project is scheduled, was scheduled for last week. Now they're going to be out there this week. Uh, they have some favorable tides this week. They'll be there for about four weeks. During that time, Blades Road will continue to be a one-way from Gannett to Bailey's Causeway. 
So just be aware of that over the next couple of weeks while they're down there working. And those stairs will be all fixed and ready to go for the summer season next year. Quick reminder, school's back in, so that means students are walking and taking the bus. So please be extra careful on your way to work and on your way home. Be on the lookout for students and small children walking and taking the bus. Uh, we can have a safe school year this year when it comes to traffic and traffic enforcement. Reminder of those people down in the Sand Hills area that Hollywood will be back in Norwell this week. I'll sit you with this week. Sorry, we're just talking about Norwell football, so I'm getting confused. Uh, we'll be back in Sitchwood this week. They'll be filming in the area of the Sand Hills General Store on the beach. The filming will last about a week. Uh, there is an electronic signboard down there reminding residents the Sitchwood police will be handling the traffic. Uh, there will be some parking in the Egypt Beach parking lot and the central parking lot for the crews. Uh, but again, they'll be in and out of here in a week's time. Uh, several weeks ago, the board met with Michael Johnson. Michael's a Sitchwood resident who is working on his Eagle Scout project. Uh, Michael has informed us he has completed his project and has installed two water safety stations, one at Minot and one at Egypt Beach. Uh, these stations contain water safety equipment to be used when lifeguards are not on duty, such as a safety ring, a life jacket, a boogie board, and a first aid kit. They will remain there until probably the end of September, in which case we'll take them in for the winter and we'll put them back out in the spring. I want to thank Michael for this. This is pretty important with what goes on at our beaches. The lifeguards all are, are all gone at this point, but we still do have some nice weather where people can enjoy the beaches. Hopefully we won't have to use these, but thank you to Michael for installing those. Uh, congratulations on moving one step closer to Eagle Scout. Uh, we did get some calls over the weekend as to why the Moby mats have been removed. Uh, the DPW removed the Moby mats this weekend in response to the hurricane that was off the coast, the Moby mats we're getting covered in sand, we're getting uh, moved around and displaced. So they went on, and they took those down. The boardwalk is still up at Egypt Beach. If people need to access the beach, they can use the boardwalk at Egypt Beach. And finally, as I've been saying for the past several weeks, the DPW is in need of plow drivers for the winter. It's not too early to be thinking about that. We just filled our salt shed. So if you're interested in being a plow driver for the DPW, please contact the office. And that's what I have for this week. Great, thank you, Jim. Um, next week, uh, Superintendent Burkhead will be joining us and uh, give us a school update. So that being said, everyone have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you guys next Monday evening at Special Town Meeting.